Hey Gingy Squad, it's Gaming Go back with another Liberty County video where we are reviewing the new ERLC update. Now, before we get any further, if you don't, if you want to skip the, to this timestamp, that is when I'll be in the game and not reading any of the new features. It might sound weird in this video because I actually forgot to turn on my microphone, but let's get right into it. First things first, cash register robberies. New type of robbery. We've added new cash registers to most of the businesses in Liberty County. Use a gun or melee weapon to destroy the cash registers and then steal the money. There is a cooldown for every two registers robbed. Now we also have a new Bullhorn BH-15 police truck. A new vehicle has been added onto the police and sheriff teams and another one. Water towers. River City and Springfield now have flowing waters. A new model in both the counties. There's about two of them. Custom team names and private servers. If your server has roleplay pack, which is the pack you can buy with Throwbox, you'll be able to change team names and logos. For example, rename RCPD to State Patrol if you want. You also change the text and GYs in the building adds a lot of personalization and customization as well. Very cool. Now, we also have a new skate rink in the downtown park. The River City Park has been remodeled for a new ice rink. Walking to the ice to start skating. And River City is spelled wrong, but let's ignore that. Unmarked police license plate, which is absolutely awesome. If you have the detective pass, you will now see an option under accessories to equip a civilian style license plate. This is only available with the undercover game pass though, but it'll actually help so you know the uh, wanted criminals won't be able to see that you're a real cop now that you have a license plate just like them. Now we, lastly, we also have highway message boards. On Highway 55, we've added overhead message boards for displaying traffic warnings. That team can change what is displayed in the image. It says hazardous road conditions slow down. Now, lastly, these are the fixes and bug improvements. You can go ahead and pause and read them here, but it's only two this time. Now, let's get right into the game. All right, we are now at the skating ring. It looks pretty nice here, but uh, it is a yeah, it's very slippery. It actually slips you around. And it's icy. There's also like fireplaces over that you can sit by and warm up. Um, it is very cool that well, we're going. To refresh myself here and i'm going free camp so you can get an aerial view of what's going on you guys i want to remind you i'm talking real time here so ignore that because you know i have to do voiceover on everything and there it is from above the skating ring it looks pretty nice taking up most of the area in the downtown park let's go and check out the next part so we're gonna go check out with the fireplaces over here where there's actually multiple sticks you can sit around a little fire formation with your friends or anyone else and actually i did have a wa uh, a broken walking animation you cannot burn up in the fire but you know, you can sit down and your broken animation will be gone if you're on the ice rink. It does have custom animation. The next part we're gonna go do is we're gonna get a weapon and we're gonna rob these registers. All right, we're now three guys. And if I shoot my weapon at these registers here, it actually has the damage and it opens up. It got me an additional star. Let's go and steal the cash here. It actually only gives you a star after you pick up the cash. It gives you about $1,000 per register, but there's a pull down every two registers. That means we're going to be able to, you know, get all the cash from these two registers. We're going to have a cool down, two stars, and we're going to be $2,000 richer. And I think it's pretty cool because it's a pretty thing, quick thing to do. It takes about five seconds to rob each register. Which means you can get $2,000 in approximately 10 seconds, which is absolutely great. And you're also make, able to make a quick getaway, but those are the new registers. Let's go and check out the new police vehicle. This is the new um, Bullhorn BH-15 truck, and it costs around $4,800. And that is, I mean, yeah, $4,800. This is how the truck looks. It looks very much like the civilian variant, only difference is, you know, the grill. It is black instead of white. Let's go and check out the new license plate, and I will actually do it before and after. It looks like a very nicely modeled vehicle on the police team here. I'm excited to see what role plays we can do with this. Now, this is your before shot, and this is the after. It looks pretty good. It looks exactly like a civilian plate. And also, I've got the wheel covers on. This is how it looks when you select it when you're um, customizing the vehicle. Let's take this thing on a quick spin here, and then we're going to go check out the new DLT thing. Now, 
now we're on the dot team. Once you're on the dot team, you're gonna go over to this little bo uh, box near the billboard. I mean, on like the bottom part of the billboard, it's called LCD dot message controller. You're gonna press E to open it. And now you can select any message you want to pop up. There's things like text, workers ahead, wreck ahead, road close, expect delays. And we're gonna choose buckle up and drive safely, which is pretty cool. You know, it's pretty realistic as well. Cause on most highways, it has these messages warning you about traffic and brakes and also just like safety reminders for the daily driver which is very cool now we're gonna check out one more thing and then that'll be another the update you can change your roleplay name by heading over to the dmc here you can put any name in here i'll just put nago in there so now my roleplay name is nago so whenever i give officer my license they're gonna see that that will be my permanent roleplay name unless i feel like changing it later on in the dmv again all right, we are also in the game once again because I forgot to show you how to change the uh, private server thing. So if you go over to the roleplay pack, you can scroll all the way down to custom team information. Let's go over to the River City Police Department. Let's put a logo ID in here. Now I just got that from a random image in the marketplace. Okay, don't question whatever it is. Let's name the city. I mean the team name. Let's name it Game Indigo Police Department. Okay, that's going to be our name right there. Very awesome name. Oh, and it's censored. Okay, let's try to find a name that is not censored. Let's get that in. Can I get that there? All right, now let's do it. GNG Station. There we go. I think that might make it. There we go. Now we're gonna we have the private thing here. Look at that. Police is called GNG Station. If we go over there, we're gonna be able to check out the new logo, the custom logo, in fact, that I've put on there. I'm not actually sure what it is. I do know what it is. We're, let's just check it out and just act surprised when you see it. All right, yeah. Oh gosh, if I can even get in free cam here, let's see. We gotta go out to over here. And we're gonna be able to see. There we go. Isn't that great? GNG Station with the awesome logo. That is awesome. That 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 is just phenomenal. And now also, there's actually another um water tower around in the farms area here. It's actually a smaller tower though. I forgot to put that in there, but let's get that's the end of the video.